Welcome back. Chris believes pumpkin patches and costumes are all part of the season with a great roundup of fun fall activities for the little ones and the grown-ups. We welcome Parent Maps Jane Griegel. It's good to see you again. Thanks for having me. And the weather is cooperating by being cool and sunny, which is my favorite. Yeah, I love fall. Fall is my favorite season. It's yeah. beautiful. So let's start at the obvious. There are pumpkin patches. Yeah, it's and pump everybody needs their pumpkin. It's pumpkin patch season. Our favorite is uh, Carpenito Brothers in Kent because it's really low key and it's right off 167 so it's really easy to get to. Um, I like the produce stand there, you get lots of good veggies and my kids really like the wheelbarrows and the pumpkin patch. <laughs> um, I hope they never grow out of that. Uh, um, they will eventually, <laughs> but it'll be a while. So that's one of your favorite places. That looks like such fun. Uh, obviously, there are ha Halloween activities. And if you live in a neighborhood where there's not a lot going on, you can do some things through Seattle Parks and Rec, right? Right. Um, so our Halloween's on a Thursday this year. So the Thursday, Friday, and Saturday before pretty much every community center across the city is throwing some kind of Halloween party. And they're really low, uh, really, uh, really cheap. They're like free or three dollars or five dollars and it's a lot of fun for the whole family. That's good to know. Leavenworth. I was just looking up Leavenworth yesterday to see what's going on. That's a fun place to go this time of year. Yeah, people think of Leavenworth in the in the winter but fall is actually a great time to go because that drive over there is so pretty. All the colors in the mountains right now oh. and they have Oktoberfest going on right now which is family friendly too. That is great. There are places where we can watch the salmon run which is really good. Yeah, the um, Rocking the Salmon runs a, a great way to teach your kids about perseverance because those salmon swim hundreds of miles yeah. to reach their destination. Um, one really neat place to go watch them is the Renton Library because it was built on a bridge over the Cedar River and every weekend in October they have naturalists there to teach you about the, the migration. And can you see the salmon? You just look down and they're in the water. Oh my gosh, they're right there. We can see them. Okay, let's talk about some indoor activities. The Burke Museum has been remodeled and it's beautiful. Right, the grand opening was this weekend. Um, the really special thing about this museum is that uh, you go in and all the walls are just panes of glass. So you can see everything going on behind the that. scenes. Um, you can see researchers working. I got to see somebody prepping a T-Rex uh, vertebrae, somebody working on a bat specimen. Um, and of course, there's the big dinosaur area, which is popular with kids. Right, there's, and there's certain ages where dinosaurs are everything. Yeah. So <laughs> if you happen to have one of those kids or grandkids, this is a place to go. So let's talk about today, Indigenous Peoples Day. Yeah, there is a um, new exhibit that just opened at the Children's Museum in the Seattle Center's Armory. It's a permanent exhibit, so it's going to be there for forever. Um, but it's highlighting local indigenous culture. Um, so that's a good one to check out with your family. And now is that one that's good for all ages? Um, the Children's Museum skews a little bit younger. It's in the Global Village Wing. There's all different kinds of cultures you can go see there. And but they didn't up until now. They didn't have anything about local indigenous culture. So this is a new addition. That is great. There are also indoor pools. If you're not done swimming, there's still a chance to go. Look at this one. Right, the Mont Lake Pool is probably the best one for really little tots because it has a sloped entry. Um, like a beach. Um, really? The Linwood Pool cool is, is great that? because you can reserve tickets um, up to two weeks in advance online mm -hmm. so you won't go there and have it sold out. And the best pool in this city is Rainier Beach. Um, we love that one because the water there is 93 degrees. Yay. It's really balmy. And there's a slide. Yeah, lots of fun. Do we need tickets for all of these or yeah, how do we get it? Tickets in? are reasonable. They're about $5 a person because they're all run through the city. So right. for a family it would be $15, $20, not okay. too much. Sounds good. And then of course Pike Place Market. Right. That This is the time of the year the tourists are gone and we can go back and enjoy it <laughs> ourselves. And now we have that view without the viaduct in the way. I know. So spectacular. It's time to check it out. Um, we also like uh, wandering through all the shops um, below because um, it's not crowded now. Our favorite is the uh, miniature car dealership. It's just packed full of die cast model cars. And kids never get tired of any of this, including the food that's around there. What would you say when you're trying to determine when your child is ready for maybe the next step, like learning about new cultures, etc., what do you kind of look for? I think you just expose them, right? Start young and op open the worlds a little bit. Um, I don't think you're ever too young to start. In terms of uh, high school kids, what would you recommend? Activities that we might do on the weekends. You know, I think the Burke Museum is really great for our for older kids because um, 
this is a place you can go and see scientists working and maybe you can see yourself, maybe you want to become a scientist someday. This is, you, can, you can go see what they're doing there. Um, it's a really great experience. What are they working on? Give me kind of an example of what we might yeah, see. Yeah, they have, they have um, a lot of specimens there. So they have um, a large collection of uh, spread bird wings, which is just a single bird wing. Um, all different species, they have mm -hmm. the world's largest collection there. Um, they have a big collection of Northwest Native art and cultural items. Um, 16 million objects in their collection. There's something there for everybody. Right. <laughs> you can find something. Let's talk about getting to Leavenworth. Do you guys go by car and do you recommend stops along the way? Yeah, we drive um, and we actually did it as a day trip, which I don't necessarily recommend. It's kind of long. For it's a, a day long trip. day. Um, families like to stay at the Enzian Inn right in town because there's an indoor pool and a free hot breakfast. Um, if you stay longer, you have more time to do some of the activities that are over there. Um, there's a great playground um, right off the main drag that my kids loved. And if you have time, you should go for a horseback ride. The mountains are really pretty. Um, you don't have to have previous experience to ride a horse, and the horses are really gentle. Kids uh, six and up can ride their own. Oh, that's great. S under six, you can ride with an adult. Ride with them, and the colors are out right now? Yeah. That sounds beautiful. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Okay. Your son has been so good over there. He's waiting for his mom. You'll find the list of all these activities on our website along with links for directions and times. We hope that that's useful to you and your family. We'll be right back.